Let's fucking go, baby! <sighs> okay, chest day. Um, it was great. I'm gonna be honest, it was great. And I say that because I thought it was gonna be fucking miserable because I've been so exhausted recently. But it actually felt really good. And the reason I thought that is because if you watch my recent videos, I made a new intro and I made a new logo, which you would think only takes about an hour, but it took me multiple hours, just because there was a lot of moving pieces I had to do and I wanted to create the silhouette that Sam Sulek has going on. And so um, it was a lot harder than I expected. And the funny thing is, I actually did it at 5 a.m. Because I woke up at 4 a.m. Not last night, but two nights ago. Just because I just woke up and I couldn't go back to bed, so I was like, I might as well get something done. And this was something I was looking forward to doing for a little bit. So with that being said, my leg day yesterday was fucking terrible because I had hockey and I was tired. So I was really hoping my chest day would be good, and it was. So it was a rep day, to be honest. A lot of repetition, a lot of variation as well. I did five exercises just for my chest, which depending on who you ask, might be a little bit too much, but it felt good. And um, yeah, anyways, enjoy. So yeah, um, starting out, I did two sets of dips to failure. Um, I really just wanted to get my chest going with these and I felt a little bit sore. And this is usually a way to kind of wrinkle out some of the kinks in whatever movement it is I'm doing. So this is actually something I do on tricep day as well, but it's also very good for chest, obviously. So it was a good start to the lift. and. I started off um, with no weight, and then I ended up doing a weighted set that I don't have on video, um, just because it felt so good. And then next up, I go high-low cable fly. Um, this is something I kind of changed up. I usually do these at the end, um, but I decided I'm gonna do this at the beginning because I was gonna go ahead and go straight into flat bench, but it was being taken up, so I didn't want to just sit there and wait. So I went straight into three sets to failure of cable flies. And for me, it's a big rep. This is a big rep exercise. Um, any fly movement for me, so this and the machine fly that I end up doing later on, it's just kind of something I want to rep out and feel the burn. And I don't really feel like this is something where you should just load a ton of weight. So next up, like I said, I went into flat bench when it became available. Um, two plates, I mean, I was just kind of trying to get a good movement, you know, up and down, not trying to fly it, you know, and for my next set, I think I show, I actually put my feet on the bench because like I said, I'm trying to isolate chest. And I'm not really the type of guy who is super big on having a crazy bench press, which is one of the main reasons why I'm totally cool with plant fitness. Um, one, everybody complains that you can't really do barbell bench at plant fitness and anything barbell related. But for me, I don't back squat, I don't deadlift, and I'm not as big on barbell bench press even though i have no problem with barbell bench press um it's not make or break for me so i'm totally fine with doing smith press because i actually prefer smith press for incline as well but i actually do a different incline machine today than i did last time so yeah but next i go into machine flies so these are kind of a basic thing for me um i do these pretty much every chest day and i like doing these with high low cable because I kind of put the bench a little bit higher than usual on the machine, so I'm actually hitting a little bit more um, upper chest in a sense. Because I don't really feel like I have to hit mid chest since everything else really hits mid chest. But finishing off, like I said, I go into inline incline chest press, which I mean, from the video, you can't really tell a difference between this and the next exercise. But this is definitely more of an incline focus. And I actually put the seat down again on these just to get the upper chest movement. And you can kind of tell I kind of have to shrug a little bit, but um, I end up just burning out one set just to finish off my workout and kind of finish my chest off with one set of flat chest press, which is something that I actually started with last time. So I would say it's nice to kind of have this as my last exercise just to kind of change it up. But anyways, I mean, yeah, it was a great chest day. Um, I, got, I really got after it. I did tons of repetitions and tons of variations, so... Overall, I mean, you guys should definitely try it, and um, thanks for watching.